So over the last couple of weeks, I've been taking a look at Reloom in a lot of different scenarios. We've taken a look at some of the features. We've also gone through the process of creating our sitemap, our wireframe, then realizing that using their new style guide, and finally building aspects of this using Bricks Builder. So we've seen the whole build process, but there's some other features that I think are equally important that I haven't touched upon yet. One of those is the ability to not only export our design or our sitemap and wireframe to Figma, which in itself is pretty cool, but we can also export all the settings, all the decisions we've actually made for colors and typography and all those kinds of things and create a fully realized design system inside Figma in a matter of seconds. This can save us absolutely tons of time if you want to create a design system for your project, for your client, for your design team, whatever it is, this is super useful. So that's exactly what we're going to look at in today's video. So jumping into Reloom, this was the design that we put together for our fictitious landscape gardening company. We've chosen the colors, the typography, the various different aspects of the buttons, those kinds of things. We've then mocked things up, used AI to create the images, and we have a basically fully realized homepage design. So now we want to create a design system that complements that with all the decisions that we've made. So we're going to take the export option and we're going to export this into Figma. Now, if you don't have a Figma account, you can set up a free one. That's all I'm using for this. So you can do this. You don't have to pay anything for Figma to follow along and actually export this information over. So what we need to do is go over to the export option. Before we do, let's click on this little drop down. We can choose how and where we want to export this. We're going to choose Figma from the list, and then we're just going to click on export. When we do that, this is now going to tell us exactly what we need to do. Open in Figma, install the Reloom Figma plugin, and import your project into Figma. I've already done that, and there you can see what would you like to import. And now we have three options. We can import the style guide and concept, the wireframes, or the sitemap, or we can just do all three. But for this, we're going to say the style guide and concept. So we'll choose that from the list, which style guide we'd like to import. We've only got the one inside you, but if you've created different variations of your design, you can create style guides for each one of these. So we're going to choose the concept that I've created and click on continue. That's then going to go and connect everything up and just do all the work behind the scenes. Depending upon the complexity of the project, this may take a few moments. Once it's finished, we'll then move on. Ooh, design system organizer. What's that? Don't think I can pause thing, can I? There we go. After a few moments, maybe a few minutes, we've now been told we've saved six hours. Pretty cool. Let's click done. And now you can see there's all our projects. If we've got other projects, we can easily come back in and open up for another project. But we've finished with this one now, so we're going to click to close this down. And now if we take a look, we now have our fully featured style guide or design system, whichever you prefer to call it. So now if we start to zoom in, the decisions we've made, we can see the results. So for example, you see there's our different typography, Gluck and Barlow. You can see the different headings we've chosen, the sizes. So you can see the font size, 72 pixels or 4.5 rem, line height 120%. So all the decisions for our typography are set inside here. Same thing then goes for our colors. So we can see we've got our range of colors through from the neutral white to the darkest. In this example, we only had the one color, which is our kind of green color, which they've called inchworm. Okay. And then we've got the different shades there. So we can simply grab those references should we want to. Our color schemes, so it tells us our text, background, foreground, border, accent. So if you're taking this over into something like Core Framework, you can easily transition these values over. If you need to create any additional variables or classes, you could do that inside there, or just input the values that we have from here. And then you pretty much have your design system transitioned over into your CSS framework so you can hit the ground running. We've also then got options for our UI elements on both the light version and the dark version. Now, obviously, everything inside you is still totally editable. We can change anything. If we don't like the look of it, we can change it. Not a problem. All our forms are included inside you, our text area, select, tags, checkboxes, and so on. So that's pretty cool. Our tool tips, if we're using them, slider arrows, filters, and so on. Our different radiuses. So again, we can set these up inside whatever framework we're using. If you're using something like ATF, which is part of Advanced Thema that works with bricks, you can easily set the values up from this inside there as well. So that's pretty nifty. 
your shadows. So you've got all the shadow effects are listed here. Our logos and logo type. Now, obviously, we've only just left the basic logo, but let's just say, for example, you had your logo, you uploaded that to the design. That would also be listed here as well. Then we've got the icons. So these are open source box icons. Again, you can easily change these for whatever you want. If you've got a specific set of icons you like to use, maybe phosphor icons, one of my favorite ones, you could just substitute it. But if you consider all of this would normally have to be created either by hand or through making lots of other decisions to kind of create this, you could use this, hit the ground running, make any alterations that you think need to be made, and you have everything you need in place. The other cool thing is if you want to carry on working inside Figma, these have all been set up as styles and variables. So for example, you come into your styles, there's your heading, let's open this up. Desktop and mobile versions, there's all the sizes so we can easily reference those in our design. Same thing for mobile, same thing for our text, large, medium and so on. Our effects, they're all listed here as well, all set up for us. So everything is inside here for our drop shadows and so on. So we basically have so much of the hard work already done for us. Now, let's just say you want to bring in your wireframes and you want to start working on editing that. Well, you could do that. You've also got the ability to bring in your concept. So currently this is blank, but you can see we've got a section for our concept, design, style guide. There's all different components. So it's a nav bar, footers. All these are listed inside you. There's tons and tons of information already created. Let's say you want to bring your wireframe in. How do you do it? It's very simple. All we need to do is come up to the Figma menu, come down to plugins and open up the Reloom plugin. That will now again go back and connect up to all the different projects we have. There's our landscape gardening. You can select it. Let's say we want to put in the wireframes. We can select our wireframe. There's all the different pages. So let's say we don't want to have things like the contact. We're not bothered about our lawn maintenance and garden design, our services. We just want these ones. Hit start the import. That's now going to start bringing in those wireframes, at which point we can then start to fully realize this design, having all those different choices brought in. Again, you can see three hours and 30 minutes saved. Done. And that was all happening behind the scenes while I was talking. So none of that was sort of sped up. That was real time. As you can see, mobile version, desktop version, all created. Now we could go through and make any other design decisions we want and customize the overall look and feel of everything here. All the different pages we've chosen we brought in, including the navigation and everything else. So if you like to work inside Figma, but you want to harness the power of something like Reloom to start off with to create the sitemaps, wireframes, and the style guide, make your decisions inside there, bring it over into Figma and carry on working, you absolutely can do. You want to take in the design you've created inside Figma with all those decisions. So you put your images and things in, you can bring that in as well. I think this is absolutely awesome and makes the whole process so much quicker and easier. But as always, I'll pass the question off to you. Are you using this? Would this make you use Reloom to tie it into Figma? Let me have your comments down in the comment section below. As always, all applicable links are in the description. If you want to check out my playlist on working with Reloom, check out this one here. As always, my name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, Take care.